Silver Supreme, and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Imperial Inheritance of Japan. Now, where we last left off, I started fabricating a claim on the United States because they are allied with Italy right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel it. Now, the reason I'm canceling it is because I completely forgot that world wars have not been discovered yet. I don't see anything stating that the uh, pop-up for it had occurred and i do know you have to like research mass politics down here so what i'm going to do is wait a couple years i'm going to finish up uh i'm going to finish up revolution and counter revolution next and go for mass politics myself so we can get uh the world wars discovered and you know take take just just break up the world as we see fit. I right, we can increase Java. So right now this will be a little chill laid back episode. I hope. <laughs> I doubt it'll be too crazy. Alright, you guys could go over here. And you guys are good right there. Unless I see like someone else discovers it um soon, then we're just gonna like, you know, focus on that a research branch just so we can get the world wars discovered. It's been the last at least 20 years uh, going for it. Italy, Allied, Prussia again. Alright. United States is truly not happy with us. Nah, I would like to take the rest of the West Coast if it's possible. If we get into a great war with them, I would like to take the rest of the West Coast and Hawaii from the United States. That would be interesting. It'll then be, instead of just the Greater East Asia Co-Prosperity Sphere, we'll call it the Greater Pacific Co-Prosperity Sphere. Right, Philippines is safe. Chinese Empire, Brazil. I think Brazil should handle this rebel problem. Yeah, they got more than enough troops. It's just like a lot of crap everywhere. Alright, we got this going on. Our, we are cranking out a lot of money. Oh yeah, I forgot we are. We get cut down to 50%. Naval maintenance can remain up during this and actually we could cut down our tariffs The negative 25% tariffs make it cheap for our guys to buy stuff off the market with That way we could get like a edge on them All right Uh, the laissez fair system is working out nicely. So much easier to work with within the laissez fair system if you cut a nation down and just take half their, like at least a quarter of their income. All right. Seeing as how like United States will get into a great war with us, cutting them down will also be a boon. So I won't necessarily send any troops over to America until. Like, we know for sure that is going to be the case. Wait, more. I guess you guys could use these units more. I'll merge up over there. Build a few more cruisers. Oh, there's just only one more. That's fine. And we got this done. All right, realist music. Come on, high sea battle fleet, finish up. We need to prepare ourselves for the future. Increase relations with you, Hyderabad. Looks like Great Britain is trying to influence the hell out of here. Seems how they basically surround it. That's done. Chile may I think they're gonna collapse it. Yeah, they're gonna they're about to collapse the communism, so 
we are going to leave Chile alone for right now because they're really useless at this point. Uh, let's just lose, what, what, five prestige now that we are like over a thousand points ahead of everyone else. It's five. I don't want to gain the one infamy back. It's best to let it like, cool down where we are right now. All right, so three of you. I guess you guys can merge up over here. You guys can head down to Nagasaki. And you guys merge up. Also, I think we are able to build tanks. And, yeah, we're able to build tanks now. Seeing how we are running pretty high on the military capacity. So Kanto and Kansai. And Kyushu. Guys, just start recruiting over there. We're gonna keep up with the clerks for a little bit longer. Just get some extra research points. Guys, hop on over here. Yes, yeah, so I forgot we released you guys over. So you're our little satellite down here. China still has no military. I'm surprised about that. Ship you guys over to here. Let's kick it up to speed four. Any conflicts? Um, no, we're currently at peace right now. Looks like there may be some crisis occurring in the Ottoman Empire, but that is none of our concern for right now. all pushing out factories. See, we're trying earnest to catch up to these other powers, such as Prussia. Alright, so let's go for a revolution, counter-revolution. And we can also upgrade our naval bases, build a bigger fleet. Always useful. So let's get that out of the way. Um, boop, boop, boop. Going all the way over here. There we go. So now we should be ready to fight. Oh yeah, I forgot we also released Fiji. Fiji's so small. Go over here in Africa. Hyderabad was an ally with us. Yes, that's good. All right, that is all said and done. I'm pretty sure the one in San Francisco is already level five. Yes. All right, that's you guys look pretty good. Soldiers. Portugal, what is going on with you? The man Morocco. Morocco is in Italy's sphere. I don't really care. And Portugal, he didn't help me in that last war. Uh, uh, I mean, I could use you anyway. Might as well keep you friendly at least. Spain is a little bit mad at me. That's understandable. Seeing as how we kind of were at war not too long ago. 
and it looks like the British Empire it says their military has been cut down they have they're gonna have the rebel problem in India again so yeah looks like the rebels are gonna take over India Sort of. Kinda don't want to raise the militancy too high, but at the same time, that's really one of the only ways we can push through a reform is if we make people want to rebel. All right, so what we're gonna do is switch you guys with soldiers for right now. All right, let's host the regional fair. You guys are doing good. Great spectacle. Go back to raising some soldiers and some of our territories. And definitely Sumatra. You guys just start raising more soldiers. Alright, so you guys are here. You guys could use a little chunk of units. Put you guys up in the three. You're good. You're good. You're good. So you are. As are you. So I guess let's see. Does anyone in America need any units? I think so. Yes, you do. All of, like these two of you guys do. So it looks like you guys are going to America. Head over to Monterey. Looks like British anarcho liberals have taken over. So, Great Britain fell over the rebellion. Get over the league. All right, that's done. Let's go for mass politics now. It's gonna take two years to finish this. Uh, let's go for analytic philosophy real quick and then go for that other one. Let's see. Brazil is at war, apparently. Uh, raise some troops in Uganda. What is this about? With Bolivia. Huh. Uh, no, just because of the sole fact the United States is going to get involved, no doubt. Pretty sure, like, uh, they'll be able to win. Brazil should be able to win because America won't be able to get down there, I don't think. We have to play a little bit of chicken right now. Uh, we can humiliate, uh, do a humiliate thing against Great Britain once again. Uh, ain't even more prestige. I mean, we could honestly. Um. Because, yes, like, we could do this. The Great Britain in the game won't really punish us for it. Sure. Oh, we could create a state in Eritrea. Hooray! And... We didn't get the war goal, or, or did I accidentally like decline it? Uh, I think I may have declined it. Oh well, it didn't really matter.
All right, they had to release all of the, yep, here they come. Great Britain can't just handle it. Ugh, that's weird font. <laughs> And it looks like the United States, yep, no. You're not gonna attack my little friend. All pot, wait. Yes, here in Japan, all men are free and equal, but in lands beyond ours, the bonds of slavery and serfdom still wrap tightly around the wrists of the oppressed. Abolitionists in Japan are arguing that the government should oppose slavery abroad and support foreign abolitionist movements. Supporting foreign dissidents is obviously not something that would make us popular within the country on the receiving end. Okay, because I don't even think Uruguay cares about us. Yeah, they're under America's thing. Denounce them. <laughs> I don't care. Hey, you guys merge up. And, oh, why could that be Netherlands again? I, I'm keeping my thing with France. Much as I would have loved to take over some of their uh, colonies it's just not really any point yeah i gonna do that how are my little factory workers doing not too bad not too bad all right ukrainian nationalists Spawned. Uh, looks like Poland will be able to handle them. Model colony. Ooh, great! I love this event. Prestige, research points, everything we need, and that kicked us up to number one. How far? By a hundred points. Wow! So now, Emperor Meiji, <laughs> your reforms. Nearly a century ago, have brought us to this point. God bless Japan. Everything it stands for. All right, so this is the Republic of Fiji down here, but we have this negative Fiji up here with about 3,000 people living there. That's okay. This is our greater sphere down here. The analytic philosophy just finished. We can go for mass politics now. Wrap that up. Let's go. Long live Japan. We just gained San Francisco as a core. All right, so you guys are down here. I would like for, okay, let's see. Split you guys in half. Two of you to head down here and one to head right here. Let us build revolution in China. Okay, so the anarcho liberals took over China. Okay, that's not really uh, too much trouble. We get some Mexican infantry units up. So China, China formed, and you bastards broke free from our sphere. No, I cannot. Good lord, these damn Dutch communists. I am not going to let China get away from the Japanese sphere that easily. This is part of Greater East Asia, damn you. We're going to add you to our sphere whether you like it or not. Man, rally to arms. We are. We're about to like deal with China once again. They have no military, and even if they did, they are so behind, so far behind, it's laughable. Well, let's get all of our troops into place. 3.8 infamy, so be it. Still gotta finish mass politics anyway, so. Once mass politics finish, I will probably release a nation or two. Let's also get the arms back up. Jacobin, Spain wants to ally us. I guess they saw the collapse of the British Empire and don't want to handle it. Uh, you guys go to kill. You guys also go to kill. Gain another cruiser down here. You guys could go right here. Let's 
Should be able to make some more cruisers for a little bit. Yeah, let's go up another five more. Protecting the Chinese. Without the protection of a great power, sisters are souls. Anything could happen to China. In order to protect them, they must be added to our sphere of influence. Despite any short-term objections they may have. <laughs> After all, if they any sense, they would be great powers too. Ooh. China just got, got shut down. Let's kick it uh, there. We can, we can still have negative terrors. Like you said, let's just go over negative 10% right now. Yes, we shall attend the next Olympic Games. I'm in liberation of West Macedonia. Again, not really necessary because I don't care about the Ottomans right now. I will help you in the future, Ottomans. Like, trust me, I will help them in the future. But right now I have designs that need to be accomplished before I, I help them. Attack on the workhouse. That. We're here to help you. <laughs> We're here to help you, China. There. Let's bring them back within the fold of a great power. Guys, hit over here. Actually, you guys hit straight to Beijing. You guys hit over here, and you guys hit right here. We don't need any allies for this. We have a professional military force that is taking an ungodly amount of attrition here. You guys just get split in half. China has not industrialized at all. So Java is back within the fold. Burn the Summer Palace. I am, wait, I'm not going to do that. It's three infamy for really no reason. I mean, I want to punish China, but I don't want to, like, fucking abuse them that much. Especially for, like, just getting a three infamy gain for nothing. Right. Well, at least the sieges will finish shortly. They have nothing to handle us with. They got some boxer rebels down here we should probably deal with soon. Right, you guys head down here. Clear these guys out. You head kill these guys because I know they're going to be trying to be bastards. What's also the naval tech? 2 out of 30. Jeez. China is still so far behind because of how badly they were hurt. Oh, now we got this. The, the damn boxer atrocities event. So we gave 100 war score. Uh, free proceed. Uh, let's just add it for the sake of adding it. Why not? We don't got that much to siege anyway. Guys, just go do your job. Okay, we can do this now. What do you guys want? Sensor press. Harassment only landed. Okay, so we can get that. I think it would probably be better if we go for the sensor press. Actually, let's just go for landing because it looks like more people want to vote. Alright, that's then. Let it be. Just go through China and see this stuff now. Actually, I probably should have. Well, no, that would have been like one, like ten infamy. Forgot. Oh, mass politics is almost done. All 
Uh, so the boxers, how did that work? The boxers managed to take over the rest of China without really uh, taking it over. I, they didn't take over Beijing. I guess the event must have just caused that to occur. I don't know. Weird China is being weird. Great, now we got these bastards, like hundreds of thousands of boxers or Taiping nationalists. Oh, great. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have to kill you guys off one way or another. Guys go there, through there. Well, this is at least giving me something to do. Let's go fell apart. We're not back down to uh, second place once again. You guys merge up over here. Limited cost, of, well, so we're now partial constitutionalist. And we're having the first ever elections in Japan. But the Emperor still reigns supreme. Speaking of reigning supreme, let's also raise some Mexican artillery. I guess a Dixie engineer. Gunchi, Bali wants to be an ally. That's fun. All right, so Java is fully in our sphere. Let's mess with Siam now. Oh, wait, they, oh, I forgot. Great Britain lost great power status. Or not great power status, but they flipped. So that means all these uh, other nations are free for picking. Great. So we can take Siam finally from British influence. All right. And how are we doing down here? You guys keep going, keep going. Go up here, kill that, and then come back down here. You guys go over there. You guys can head back. All right. Do, 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 do. How far did we slip down? Oh, great brain. Let's gain points from something or somewhere. Western Prussia. Oh, a great war. No. Uh, surrender. Great, they're gonna, they're about to surrender too. Uh, let's hurry up, let's hurry up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can hop into this. Go. Surrender, damn you, Japan or China. All right. They're done. And mass politics has just been researched. Go for aeronautics. Oh, we can ignore that for right now. Let's instead go for integral rail systems. All right, let's get you guys back up here. You guys, you two merge up. You guys head up here. You guys head up there. All right, so what's this crisis over? Over Western Prussia. Oh, actually this might be a bad idea for us to get into on this war. Depending on the perspective, let me think about this. Main reason why I'm a little bit apprehensive about this war. Damn, we slipped back down to third place. Oh, I guess because America mobilized. That could also be one reason. Hmm. 
we could always do like you know with the glory of this war sure you know what I'm a bag pressure all right so I'm gonna end this episode off right here I doubt this war will fire off yeah I doubt this war will fire off but if it does we will be ready for it so I hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more and when we return oh boy when we return we shall see where this uh, crisis leads us. So I hope to see you guys again in the next episode. This is Solo Supreme, and have a great day, folks. Now this one is pure niceness.